Raiders have the second overall pick, jumping up 13 spots by way of the draft lottery. A no-brainer that they go with Nolan Patrick then? Well, you'd have to think so. I mean, there's the guy, Ron Hextall, Brandon Wheat Kings, uh, former Brandon Wheat Kings uh, star, so you'd have to think at some point there is a good connection there. Ron Hextall, the general manager and vice president of the Philadelphia Flyers with the second overall pick. Philadelphia selects from the Western Hockey League's Brandon Wheat Kings, Nolan Patrick. Number 13 selection in the 2017 NHL draft belongs to the Winnipeg Jets. Kevin Chevaldeoff was the biggest mover a year ago, jumping up to number two. Tonight, Winnipeg slips one position. Winnipeg drops to 13. That means Philadelphia has moved into the top three. That's a jump of at least 10 spots. It was like, it was almost like, you gotta be kidding me. We're, we're one, two, or three. Um, so, I, I don't get excited too often, but I got pretty excited there. And I mean, it was a big, that's one of those things, hopefully we look back in years, and that had a big impact on this franchise. So it certainly has, a, has the potential to, to have a huge impact. I was in shock. I mean, I didn't, you know, you, it's probably just like living, winning the lottery in, 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 a, in essence. I mean, we, we didn't expect it. You know, he watched it and all of a sudden the two cards went forward and okay well we're next you know I mean it's, you can't help to think that and all of a sudden the other card the next car went up it's like that just didn't just happen right there and right away you're and all of a sudden you're in three so shock awe excitement I mean a number of uh, different feelings went through right away but it was it was a good experience I mean uh, something that we'll never forget so I think there was two percent odds that we'd win it so and somebody said that we had four balls out of a thousand, so obviously very much of a shock. But it, they said uh, that means Philly picks in the top three. I'm thinking, I don't know if I heard this right. So I'm sitting there and just kept looking at the people they turned over and turned over, and obviously we we're in the top three. You know, Ron and I talked right away, and it was like, okay, shock and awe. We, it's almost like, uh, you know, it's from you win a game and you enjoy the game that you enjoy that night and get ready for the next game. I mean, it's, the excitement was, it, you're still excited, uh, but now it's okay. Now all of a sudden start, other things start running through your head from a business standpoint and it's time to get to work because we got, now we got a, a little different group of players we're going to be looking at and let's get going. Well, there's a reason why Nolan was where he was. I mean, he's a, he's a really good player. He's a, he's a, plays the game the right way, first and foremost. You know how we are with those type of guys. Uh, his pedigree is, you know, I mean, he's been on that, on that board for a couple of years now. Everybody knows about Nolan Patrick. He's had a little bit, you know, some bumps in the road this year with injuries, and that, that does happen. Uh, but as far as a player, I mean, he, he plays the game the right way. He's a heavy body, heavy stick, makes plays. Um, he's a, he's a, for me, he's a pro. Uh, now, whether that, whether when that's going to happen, I, that's going to be up to Nolan. But I um, mean, we're very happy with Nolan Patrick, and and he's a good person. I always say there's a lot of talented players. There, there really is. What's going to allow them to become the best they can become is their character, the person. So if you just know the player from. 17 year old on the ice six eight times it's not enough we got to figure out okay player x what's his chance of becoming a really good player or hitting his ceiling and if it's not very good he's going to come down our list if it's really good he's going to go up our list or maintain a spot on our list well we go through a dry run a number number of times i mean that's a, to have your meetings and have your conversations with your guys and Trust me, I'm sure we're no different than, than most, uh, but again, I don't profess to know what anybody else is doing. I can speak on our own. We go through it a number of times, so when we, when we hit that floor on Friday night and, and Saturday, uh, we have a good feel of, of what we're doing, where we're going, what our direction is. Ron does a great job uh, keeping in touch with not only 
um, our group, but also has a good feel what's going on around us. So um, we pretty much have a, a really good grasp on what's now. Obviously things happen and you got to change on the fly, but for the most part, we feel pretty good going in that we got our feet on the ground. Ago when he had 102 points as a 16 turning 17 year old and Brandon to win the WHL championship that was the player that I watched and that I saw and I believe the Philadelphia Flyers are getting but this guy's fully healthy he's a beast and I think he's the most NHL ready guy in the pack Philadelphia was in a, uh, a little excitement I didn't know where, where I was gonna go but I kind of had a feeling I was gonna you know, end up in Philly and that's a place that you know I'd be really excited if I had the chance to go there so uh, you know it's tough to put into words right now but you know it's a special day for me and my family you guys want to check your hair or are you guys okay? You look great. You look great. Very nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Good. You breathing a little bit? Yeah, that was, that was good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, it's over now. Uh, okay. we're thrilled to, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I wanted to end up here, so. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we're, uh, we're thrilled it turned out this way. Yeah, so I'm excited. Good. I know I'm hey. proud. How are you? Flyers. Nice to meet you. There's a quiz at the end of this on everybody's name. Get up, get it, everybody? Yeah, I need my notepad out here. Seriously. You're getting interviewed, eh? Yeah. Big dog. Like that. Guy comes to the table, he's looking at James, he goes, yeah. Steve? Steve? And, uh, We have a trade. St. Louis trades pick number 27 in this year's draft. Yuri Laterra and a conditional first round pick in 2018 to Philadelphia for Braden Shen. Philadelphia selects Ontario Hockey League Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds Morgan Frost. Yeah, you know what? Whenever you trade a player, it's always hard. Braden played well for us. He played hard for us. And you know what? The, my job is to do what I feel best for the franchise. That's what I want to expect. Braden's a good player and he's going to have a lot of success. Morgan, he's an exceptionally smart player. Uh, he needs to get a little bigger, a little stronger, but we, we know that. Uh, this is all about where the guy is today. It's where he's going to be down the road. And we, we think as a group uh, that he's going to be a, a good player down the road. Not only is he a good player now, but we look at him as down the road as a, as a good player that plays a game on both sides of the puck. And he can, he's extremely smart, makes plays and uh, is very responsible. Oh, I, I think it's uh, super special for my dad and, and even more special for me. Um, you know, I, I grew up around the rink with him and um, you know, I've been through so much with him and even my mom too, they're just both so supportive. So, um, you know, I, I can't really describe how special it is for me to share this moment with him. Our staff does all the work. Our scouts are out there chasing players, and I, I have total faith in our staff. Our amateur staff does a terrific job. You know what, it, it's, it's, I gotta be honest with you, you could probably go the night before with no sleep and be really sharp. It's almost like for, for the management staff, for our scouts, I mean, it's D-Day. It's the day, you know, it's the day that we all gotta be sharp, we gotta be on our toes, we have gotta make good decisions, and you know what, you gotta make quick decisions. Someone calls you with, pick X and Y for pick W, you got to make a decision with them sometimes 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds. So you better go in sharp. If there's a certain adrenaline that day where, you know, you, you, you get going. It's, it's a big day for a manager and as I said, the management team and, and the scouts. So you got to be, you got to be sharp. You got to be crisp and you're going to have to make some, some pretty big decisions uh, in a hurry.